Hey YouTubers, this is KeelingA6, aka Raymond. I'm going to say how I feel about watching the E3 of 2015, all the new games that are coming out. I am extremely excited on seeing the new games that's coming out this year. Now, i let you guys know, look what I'm wearing right now. I'm really happy that the famous plumber, Mario, is coming back. Oh, but it's called Super Mario Maker. I'm sure you guys have heard of that. You can create your own levels. And you can also play the levels that you have done. Now, Super Mario Bros. has been around for a long time. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this game will be. Now, I have a little brother that I even asked him, when we get the game, I want you to create for me the most difficult level that you can ever make. And let me see if I can pass it. Because I, I'm a game freak. I love video games. And I'm always the one that can beat it very simple. And my brothers were always astounded by watching me. Always good. Now, as for Ubisoft, I actually saw, I saw the new Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, that one I'm actually looking forward to playing. Now, I've beaten every single one of the Assassin's Creed games. The first one I really liked. There was two, there's three, and also four, which is, is very rare because you get to drive a, a pirate ship. Now, that one was the best. I even, the last game that I played at, at, on Assassin's Creed was Assassin's Creed Rogue, where you play Shay, where you hunt down the assassins, because they've seen what they've done. Terrible. Now, as for this one, have it in France, this is going to be a great game, and I'm sure of it. Now, let you guys know, I even pre-ordered the game, and I got this. You can't see it very well, but this is actually one shilling. That was a necklace if you pre-order the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I am I can't wait to look forward to playing that one again. Now, next one from Square Enix, Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, that is the one game that I'm actually looking forward to playing. Now, let you guys know, I am a Kingdom Hearts fan. And this is why. As you can see, I got Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. What's great about these games is that they actually had hidden levels that Japan actually had. You know, more of the Organization 13 from 2.5. And after that, um, trying out even a newer level. Where when you defeat all Assassin's Creed and beat the game, you actually get to fight all three of them, all 13 of them again. But they're faster and stronger. Now, I was able to fight and defeat nine. I'm stuck on four. Which is very hard. I'm fighting Demnex with the guy with the guitar. Zaldin, which you fight at Beast Castle. Uh, Zemnis. I never thought that I was I was going to fight him again at, at the last level. Ugh, that was very hard. And also, Luxford, where you have to fight him like as a board game type of thing. He fights you with cards, he turns you to a dice, things like that. But what I love about those Kingdom Hearts games is that you get trophies. Now, I always rely on my brother. He watched me beat Sephiroth twice. But now, with the, the trophy trophy things that you, that PlayStation has brought up... Uh, I can be able to show him this. I beat Sephiroth. No, I didn't. Look, I earned the trophy. There you go. Beat him the first time, and also beat him the second time. I'm hoping, and I'm sure that he will be in the third one. And I'm actually looking forward to find out what kind of moves and what strategy I have to use to beat this guy. Now, speaking of PS4, I just saw the new Uncharted game, A Thief's End. Now, th this game was really hard because of all the puzzles that you had to do. The puzzles were very, very difficult. I was able to complete it. Not, I only cheated like four, three times. Okay, I'll admit it, four. I, as you saw, I stuttered. I beat it four, the four times and cheated. But overall, I was able to complete it. And man, the bad guys were unbelievable. First one gets killed by a plane. Spoiler alert. Number two, spoiler alert, fight a marine. You had to fight him by shooting the explosives of the of the water. And also part three, I had to fight him through time. And thanks to a friend. <laughs> now, I actually saw the graphics of this game. Oh, it looks so real, and I love it. Now, that is the one game I actually look forward to. But sadly, it's coming out 2016 in March. I'm looking forward to that. 
Now, another PS4 game that I'm actually looking forward to is Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now, this game it holds up to 1 through 6, which I'm kind of disappointed that 7 and 8 are not exactly in here, but the classics are coming back. The little blue, little blue guy is coming back on the PS4. A little upgraded, still looks the same, but more updated in the form that he was before in the Nintendo versions. Now... I'm surprised that Mega Man was not in the Hall of Fame category and nominees because he had over 10 games, even the, the two new recent ones that came out last two years, Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10. And also, he also starred in a new series, Mega Man X Collection. Now, I, it's kind of hard to believe that he was not in the nominees, but the other games that came in, they deserve to be in there. Even the godfather of, ga of the video games... Pong. Now these games, I don't have Xbox One, but I've seen a lot of good ones that are coming out, and I have my little brother because he has a PS One. I could be able to play it on his. But these up new games that are coming in, I can't wait. And also the new Star Fox Wii U. I saw it. It looks it's gonna be look good. I hope. But driving a ship and it turns into like a dinosaur type walking thing, that one uh, kind of puzzles me. But truth of the matter is. I'm always up for a challenge. I hope you guys liked what I've talked about and everything. And I hope you still comment and think about the games that you are looking forward to watching and playing. Alright? Thanks for watching my videos and as always, have a great day.